A barn on a Johnston County farm destroyed in a fire early this morning. Tonight, Smith's nursery is closed as the family begins the process of cleaning up. CBS 17 Sonica Bargo joins us live in Johnston County. And Sonica, that is some significant damage there. Maggie, Greg, it really is staggering and standing back here, it still smells like smoke from the fire. Now we talked to the owner's sons. They say this is where they kept a lot of their farm equipment and you can see the charred remains of burned out tractors. They also said at one end of the barn was their office. At the other end was a large cooler where they stored produce. Chris and Mitch Smith tell us a neighbor first noticed the fire around three this morning and called their father who called them. Several fire departments responded and the family says it took a few hours to get things under control. At this point, they say they don't know what, if anything, is salvageable. With their equipment and other supplies destroyed, they say it does affect their day-to-day -day operations like shipping out produce, but the damage goes deeper than that. Memories and sentimental things that you can't replace but that's that's part of it so we're figuring out what to do next but it's we've got community and family and friends to lean on and faith so we'll be we'll be all right the family also tells me they've already gotten a lot of support from the community from people dropping off food to offers to lend them equipment now, the part of Smith's nursery that most people are familiar with, like the animals, picking fruit, the ice cream store, all that will be back open tomorrow. The family says they're trying to get back to normal as much as possible while they figure out what rebuilding this is going to look like. Live in Johnson County, Sonica Bargo, CBS 17 News.